I know society talks a lot about narcissistic men, but I want to talk about narcissistic women. Women, the gentler sex, right? What's gentle about using a man for his money and possessions? City girls up one, right? City girls, the ones that's teaching y'all how to be narcissistic women. Hmm. These are the women that you want to follow and take advice from? You lie to men, you cheat on men, you plot on men, and then you manipulate them into believing that you're truly remorseful and that you've actually changed because you use sex to your advantage because you know sex, by using sex, you're rousing this man's primal instinct. And narcissistic women love codependency, so you use sex because you know a codependent male is going to fold based off pure instinct and admiration. And narcissistic women have no emotion to offer. So they use physical manipulation and sexual manipulation because their emotional maturity and vulnerability is damn near non-existent. And let's talk about the narcissistic roles, okay? <laughs> you're pursuing this man who has a child and you know he's looking for a fit stepmother. So you're going to play this caring, nurturing, loving role when that's not you. You don't even like kids. Here you are rubbing this man head down every night, cooking him dinner every night because you're trying to secure the relationship. And the only reason you're trying to secure the relationship is to make it look like you have your shit together to society. And don't let me get started on the ones who do everything in their might to prevent their exes from moving on and actually being happy because if the happiness is not from you it doesn't matter right or the ones who use their children as a means to control their child's father you're using your child in a way to manipulate this man into either staying or not moving on or so he cannot have a satisfying life and then you have the narcissistic women who just lie unnecessarily lying and talk about yeah i lost my job and that's the reason why i'm in this situation or yeah i was pregnant at this and this is this time yeah yeah, baby, I'm pregnant right now. Yeah, baby, I had a miscarry. What did you miscarry about? And for all of you women who continue to glorify these city girls and you listen to this poison all the damn time taking advice from them women, they are training you to become a narcissistic woman. Stop! What's going on, everybody? Your boy, man, up back at you with one more video today. Miss Kitty J. Rose spoke nothing but facts. <clears throat> I always talk, like to talk about narcissistic men. What about the women? That's manipulating men. That's doing us wrong. That's uh, 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 trying to come off of us for their own personal benefits. What about women who do the same thing? See, nobody really likes to talk about that. See, I talked about this before in the previous video. Nobody really likes to talk about that. It, that don't get put out there in the media, on TV, in the movies. You want to see stuff like that, like on social media. You see what I'm saying? They don't like to talk about the, the negative stuff women do. Only the negative stuff men do. Paint us out to be a horrible, horrible people. Now, going on to what Miss Kitty J. Rose here is talking about, she is speaking facts. You know, things like this happened to me way before I was on any kind of social media. You know what I'm saying? Way before. Of course, women do like to manipulate men with sex because you know that's how we're going to give you our undivided attention. So we can have sex, of course. You know, a lot of women say men propose to them after sex. Because do you know that's what's for the grid? Go down. You, you're willing to give up something just to get what you want. You know what I'm saying? Women are willing to do that. Especially if it's for their own personal gain. They are willing I explained this to y'all before. It happened to me twice. This woman speaking nothing but facts. And I applaud her for that. Big time. I applaud her. Like I said, it feels refreshing to see a woman really saying, okay, what about the other side? Yeah, we know there are some horrible men out there. We know that. Ain't nobody denying that. But let's not overlook the fact that there are some women that do the same crap. 
Like I said, there are some women that do the same crap. So how come nobody's talking about that? Yeah, you like to take, listen to these city girls, the Meg Thee Stallion, the, the uh, Cardi B's, and Ken the Man, and all these other female rappers, and listening to what uh, 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 Jada Pickett is doing to Will Smith. Y'all like to pay attention to that stuff. And then when a man say he don't want to have nothing to do with you, now he's a horrible man. No, what about you? You get with one, two, three guys, and you want to say all oh, men suck. Well, goddamn, those one, two, three guys ain't lying on you now. And my mom always used to say that. My mom used to always say, everybody ain't going to lie on you. Somebody's telling the truth. And all those situations you named, What's the common denominator? It's you. So, what's the problem? See, I hate it when it's always just one-sided. People never like to tell the things that they do. It's always what it, uh, uh, they did this to me, they did that. No, 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 tell the truth. They probably did this to you, but why did they do this to you? Why did this person leave you in this relationship? Because they figured out, hey, this ain't the kind of woman I want to marry. They figured out, nah, this woman here is full of crap. This woman here, I think she's trying to use me for my money. Nah, this woman here, she's trying to come up off of me. Nah, I don't think she's wife, wife material for me. So then what you what most women end up doing, talking about all men are trash, even though they ain't never got with all men, just a few men that they selected to be with. So they say all men are trash, then they get with a woman, and then the woman mistreats them as well. So again, what's the common denominator? You. So with that being said, Let's just be real. It goes both ways. And like I said, it does feel refreshing to see a woman understanding what it is that us men are talking about. And ain't trying to sell you something. Huh. Example, Mr. Derek Jackson. Using y'all for personal gain. Y'all listen to this crap. Ladies, you right. You ain't got to do anything. He's he supposed to be doing this and doing that. He is supposed to be making at least $100,000 a year. He is supposed to. That man just using y'all for his own personal benefits and you falling for it. I know I got off topic, but I had to end with that. Anyway, this is your boy Man Up. I'm chucking a deuce. I'm going to holler at all y'all. I know society talks a lot about narcissistic men, but I want to talk about narcissistic women. Women, the gentler sex, right? What's gentle about using a man for his money and possessions? City girls up one, right? City girls, the ones that's teaching y'all how to be narcissistic women. Hmm. These are the women that you want to follow and take advice from? You lie to men, you cheat on men, you plot on men, and then you manipulate them into believing that you're truly remorseful and that you've actually changed because you use sex to your advantage because you know sex, by using sex, you're rousing this man's primal instinct. And narcissistic women love codependency. So you use sex because you know a codependent male is going to fold based off pure instinct and admiration. And narcissistic women have no emotion to offer. So they use physical manipulation and sexual manipulation because their emotional maturity and vulnerability is damn near non-existent. And let's talk about the narcissistic roles, okay? <laughs> you're pursuing this man who has a child and you know he's looking for a fit stepmother. So you're going to play this caring, nurturing, loving role when that's not you. You don't even like kids. Here you are rubbing this man head down every night, cooking him dinner every night because you're trying to secure the relationship. And the only reason you're trying to secure the relationship is to make it look like you have your shit together to society. And don't let me get started on the ones who do everything in their might to prevent their 
exes from moving on and actually being happy because if the happiness is not from you it doesn't matter right or the ones who use their children as a means to control their child's father you're using your child in a way to manipulate this man into either staying or not moving on or so he cannot have a satisfying life and then you have the narcissistic women who just lie unnecessarily lying and talk about yeah i lost my job and that's the reason why i'm in this situation or yeah i was pregnant at this and this is his time yeah baby i'm pregnant right now yeah baby i had a miscarry what did you miscarry a thought and for all of you women who continue to glorify these city girls and you listening to this poison all the damn time taking advice from them women they are training you to become a narcissistic woman 